Modern homes are known for their straight edges, concrete, steel, glass materials, and embrace of minimalism. Today, we're going to design and make a miniature modern home inspired candle box. To design this project, I start with a sketch of a typical side view of a candle box. The idea is to have a solid flat roof and floor, which I'll be using some leftover plywood to create. The walls will be a frosted white acrylic that diffuses the light passing through the material. Both the roof and floors will have slots cut out of them so that the ends of the acrylic panels can slot into them. The roof will also have a circular cutout for easy access to insert new tea light candles and to remove the old ones. With the hand sketch complete, I bring over my laptop, load up Rhinoceros, and design the project in this computer-aided design software. When the design was complete, I applied paper masking tape to a sheet of leftover quarter-inch cherry plywood to protect it from dirt and debris during the laser cutting process. I also peeled off the protective masking tape from the clear side of my frosted acrylic. This prevents fires from starting up due to the adhesive in the paper masking tape. I load the material into my Glowforge laser cutter and start the process of laser cutting. I'm really enjoying this miniature architecture design series because it combines my background as an architect with my craft hobby. This project took roughly 15 minutes to cut all of the wood pieces and the acrylic. Out of all the materials I've cut with my laser, acrylic and leather are the two materials that leave a really bad and lingering smell. Good thing I have my inline fan installed now, and it really makes a big difference when compared to the smaller fan that came pre-installed in the machine. If you're interested in purchasing a Glowforge for yourself, I'll share a link in the description section of this video that'll save you up to $500 off of a Glowforge Pro. When the pieces were cut, I took them out of my Glowforge and placed them on my work table. I removed the paper masking tape from all of the pieces. This part is usually fast with my wood materials, but my acrylic sheets were so old that the adhesive on the paper masking was really stuck onto the surface of the material. It started peeling off in different layers, which took longer than I expected to remove all of it. Next, I organized the acrylic pieces based on the small differences between each of their widths. Thinking back on the design, I should have just made every piece the same width so that I wouldn't have to spend as much time sorting out pieces that look exactly the same. Once the pieces were sorted, I applied my Maxi Kier super glue to the tabs at one end of the three pieces that would be installed on one side of the candle box. I carefully aligned the tabs with the slots in the floor and pushed it into place. I repeated this step with the remaining pieces until all of them were installed on the floor. One thing I want to explore in the future is making the slots less wide so that the tabs in the acrylic panels can be friction fit into place without any glue. The only issue I have with making a precisely fitted product is that it makes it difficult for people who purchase my design files to find the exact materials that I use for my projects. Every material has slight variations, especially when it comes to wood. As a rule of thumb, I generally build in some tolerance for the slots so that anyone else can make the same project with a slightly thicker or thinner material and simply glue it into place like I'm doing here. When all the panels were installed into the slots of the floor, I applied glue to the tabs at the top of every piece, carefully aligned the slots in the roof panel with the tabs and pushed it into place. I had to adjust every panel so that they aligned with the slots in the roof, which took a bit of effort. With the assembly complete, the last step is to turn on the LED tea light candle and place it in the modern home inspired candle box. If you enjoyed this project, consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.